Okay, I will begin again. Okay, the definition of the exponential function that there exists a positive number, a positive number B, B greater than zero mean, means it's uh, a positive number, okay? And it's not equal to one. The value of B is uh, any value other than one. Then I define the function, the exponential function f of x as a function with the base B, the number B is called the base, to the power x, I call the power x the exponent, and it should be a variable. Okay, it's a variable. It's a variable. Okay, it could be, it could take uh, any value from the real number r. Okay, so I define f of x equals to a number b to the variable power x equal or for all x in r okay and also i have the condition on b that it's greater than zero and b it's not equal to one uh, here uh, i said that b it's not equal to one if i have here this one and i take the power or any power here in uh, x uh, it, uh, its value it's always be one لما يكون عندي الأساس واحد وأرفع إلى أي قوة راح تكون دائما النتيجة هي واحد وهذا راح يعطيني دالة ثابتة وليس دالة أسية أوكي هذا عشان لا يعطيني دالة ثابتة عشان كذا هذا لا يعطيني دالة أسية Also I have that it should be greater than zero What will happen if I have this number as a negative number أوكي okay. If for example b equals to minus two this is not acceptable. Why it's not acceptable? For example, if I have x equals to a half, means that the power, the power here will be a half, right? Then f of a half will be minus 2 to the power half, سالب 2 أس النص, وراح تكون عبارة عن سالب 2 we said that the power half is actually the square root, okay? This value is not defined in the real numbers, okay? This is a complex value or imaginary value. So it's not acceptable, okay? It's not belongs to R. So I uh, put that condition that B should be positive. Since I will take any value from x, it could be um, square roots or any other even rule, uh, root. يعني ممكن يكون هنا النص بحيث يعطيني جذر تربيع ممكن أيضا يكون هنا الربع يعطيني الجذر الرابع أيضا هذا غير معرف. جميع الجذور الزوجية راح تكون غير معرفة لما يكون عندي الأساس عدد سالب. عشان كذا أنا هنا وضعت الشرط إن ضروري الأساس يكون عدد موجب. قلت إن لا يساوي الواحد لأن ما راح ينفعني الواحد راح يعطيني دالة ثابتة وغليسة دالة أسية. Okay, there is an example. Here B, the base, is equal to 3. All to the power X. Okay, also another example. I could have Y equals to 3, the same base, to the power X plus 1. Okay, this is a function of variable X. Okay, I, sh I could have here actually another value uh, besides x. ممكن هنا ما تكون فقط x, ممكن تكون دالة, دالة في x. المهم إن, the most important thing, إن variable تكون في exponent, not on the base. Okay. Okay, now for some properties, for some properties for the exponential function. The most important property is the domain. What's the domain? If I ask what's the domain for the exponential function, p to the power x, the domain is actually all the values in R, okay? All the values in R are accepted and defined for the, uh, the uh, exponential function. Okay, this is the first property. 
this is not mentioned in your uh, in your slide. Also, another property. If I have two exponential function b of a, b to the power x and b to the power y, and I said that they are equal. Okay, the same base but different exponent. This is actually true if and only if the exponent were equal. Okay, هذا معناته إذا تساوت الأساسات تساوت الأسس. لما يكون عندي دالتين أسيتين متساويتين إذا تساوت الأساسات تساوت الأسس. This is so important. Okay, very important. This is not mentioned in your slide. Try to write it. Okay. Okay, now for other properties that uh, including the operations. When I have a product, notice here I talked about the equality. Now the product b to the power x multiplied by b to the power y. Okay, in the multiplication, in the multiplication then it will be the same base but to the power of x plus y. That means in the multiplication, if I have the same base, then I will add the exponent together. إذا تساوت الأساسات في عملية الضرب أجمع الأسس. أنزل الأساس وأجمع الأسس. Also in the division, when I have uh, b to the power x divided by b to the power y. I have the same base in the division, so I will have b, it will be the same base, but it, I will uh, subtract, subtract the exponent, the exponent in the uh, numerator minus the exponent in the bottom, the denominator. Okay, في عملية القسمة راح أنزل نفس الأس هذا إذا استوت الأساسات أنزل نفس الأس وأطرح الأس اللي في البط ناقص الأس اللي في المقام. Okay, from this I can actually conclude that one divided by b to the power x is actually equal to b two minus x. Okay, this is a conclusion from the first one. I have here one, which means uh, b to the power zero. So here zero minus x. So here, uh, whenever I saw one divided by uh, b uh, to the power x, أي مكان أشوف في واحد على b أس x على طول أكتبها بهذا الشكل للتبسيط أو عشان أجري العمليات الحسابية to make a calculation or simplification. Okay. Also, new six. When I have a multiplication between a to the power x and b to the power x multiplied together, notice here that I have a different bases a and b, but the same power. I can actually simplify it to a to the power a, a multiplied by b all to the power x. I can write it like this. Or the opposite. I could have this uh, this uh, formula, a multiplied by b all to the power x. I can actually distribute the exponent on each base. I can write it a to the power x multiplied by b to the power x. Okay. I can also apply this on the division. When I have uh, a to the power x, divided by b to the power x. I can write it a divided by b all to the power x. Or the opposite. I could have this a divided by b all to the power x. I can distribute the exponent on the top and on the bottom, on the numerator and denominator. Okay. The final property or the last one, when I have an exponent or uh, an exponential function b to the power x and all to another variable, variable which is y, okay, this is actually b to the power x multiplied by y. 
OK, notice here that I will multiply X by Y. OK, it could be uh, not. It, uh, it's not actually necessary to be a variable here or here. One variable is enough. For example, if I have 2 to the power X all. Uh, to the power 3, for example, so I can simplify it or simply write it as 2 to the power 3 X like this. OK, or I could have, for example, 9 to the power X. OK, or let's say here X plus 1. I can actually write it uh, as 2 to the power 2 or 3 to the power 2 all to the power X plus 1 and simplify it to 3 all to the power 2 X plus 2. I multiply 2 by X plus 1. It's equal to 2 X plus 2. OK. Notice here that I write 9 as 3 squared to simplify. I think that's uh, all the property required, the required properties. OK, we will take uh, simplifying example. Uh, the, uh, the question here in this example, write each function in the form. 2 to the power kx or 3 to the power kx. Of course, one of them we will write it 3 to the power kx and the other uh, 2 to the, to the power kx. So we will begin with this one. The meaning of this question, write it in this form, is to simplify. Okay, for a suitable constant k. Okay, all the meaning of this is only simplify. السؤال هنا فقط بما معناه بسط الدالة التالية أو الصيغة التالية. We will begin with this. First, this number, I should write it as a power. We know, we know that 81 is actually 9 to the power 2. 9, 9 cross 9. Okay, and also 9 is actually 3 square all to the power 2. So it's equal to 3 to the power 4. OK, so I will replace this 81. To 3 to the power 4. So here I will write 1 divided by 3 all to the power 4. And all of this function. To the power X divided by 2. OK. Also. We said here that when I have 1 divided by b to the power x, I can write it b to the power minus x. So I will write 3 from the denominator as 3 to the power minus 4, all to the power x divided by 2. OK, now it's still to multiply this two exponents together to simplify. So it's equal to 3 to the power minus. Here I, it will be simplified uh, 4 by 2. It will be only 2x. OK, so here I write it as 3 to the power kx. And here k, and this is the final result. And k here is minus 2. OK, it's not important to mention uh, the value of k. This is the final result. OK, أهم شيء هنا في هذا المثال أني وصلت إلى الصيغة النهائية المطلوبة. By the same way, I will simplify this uh, function. I notice here that I have the same, uh, the same base in the denominator and the numerator. So first, I will simplify here. It will be, I will write the same, uh, the same numerator here, uh, 2 to the power 5 x plus one, nothing changed here. And here, I have multiplication of the same base. This two is to the power one. It doesn't have any exponent, so it's to the power one. So I can write it at the same base to the power one minus x. Why one minus x? I have here a multiplication, so I take the same base and I will add the exponent. 1 plus minus x, which is 1 minus x. 
okay? And also here I have a division. Two in the top, two the, uh, the base here is two in the top and two in the bottom. So I have the same base. So also I have the base two and I will subtract the exponent from the numerator 5x plus 1 minus 1 minus x. OK, notice here that I wrote, uh, I wrote uh, a parenthesis or bracket, brackets since I have here a minus. I should change each sign inside this uh, for uh, this uh, quantity. So here 2 to the power 5 x plus 1 minus 1 plus x which is equal to 2 to the power 5 x I have here plus 1 minus 1 we'll delete it together and I have plus x okay 5 x plus x I have 6 x okay I will add 5 plus 1 equal to 6 so I wrote it in the formula or in the uh, form 2 to the power kx and k here is equal to 6. OK, this is the final answer or the required uh, answer. OK, it's clear how to simplify. We only use the properties. And this is the. Uh, the solution your slide. Why it's not square? Which one is square? I don't have here to the power two, so I don't have any square here. What exactly was your question, Sala? You mean here? No, we add here. Lama ajma hina khamsa x. Yes, 5x plus x. I add 5 plus 1. 5 plus 1 is 6. Okay? It's not multiplied together. Hadi mush madruba ma baad. Mush x madruba by x. La hadi x zaad x. Okay? Hina khamsa x zaad x wahda. Fatin sit x. Is it clear? Is it clear now? Okay. So. Yes. Uh, OK, so be atten pay attention to where to multiply and where to add. لما يكون عندي هنا أسس مجموعين في الأسس نفسها في عملية جمع أجمعهم بس مع بعض. بس لما تكون عملية ضرب راح تكون X تربيع. OK. انتبه فقط للإشارات موقع الإشارات. This is the same uh, result that we got. Now we will discuss the graphs of the exponential functions. Notice that this is the graph of different values of the base for the exponential function. OK, the first one. <clears throat> let's hear uh, discuss the first one here. I have the base 1.1, not 1. So this is uh, an acceptable base uh, for B. It's 1.1 to the power X. It's almost constant, but it's actually curved a little. هذا مش دالة مستقيمة مش دالة ثابتة. اوكي هذه منحنية شوية لكن انحناء بسيط. اوكي it's 1.1 to the power x. So here I have b equals to 1.1. اوكي also here the red one it's 1.8 all to the power x. And the blue one is 5 to the power x. اوكي and also I have this the bottle one is 0.5. اوكي I can write it like this, 0.5 or a half to the power x. It will be the same. I can write it here uh, as a decimal number or a float number, or I can write it like this uh, as a rational number, a half to the power x. OK, I have actually here properties in common uh, from seeing this graph. OK, the first property here that all the graphs is actually lies above the x axis. Notice here, this is the x axis. All the graphs lies above the x the x axis. OK. So here. Uh, 
all the graphs lies above x axis. Okay. هذا من خصائص الدالة الأسية أن قيمها قيمها الصادية تكون دائما موجبة. Its uh, y coordinate is always positive. So here I can say that the range range is equal to r positive. Okay. Uh, you actually don't have uh, uh, finding the range questions in your uh, course, but just to know me the meaning of uh, lies above the x-axis, meaning that the range is always positive numbers. It's always in R. OK, also I have another property. That they all have this point in common. Jamia the, the, the graphs. For the exponential function, لازم تكون تقطع هذه النقطة. وجميع تتقاطع actually in in this point. Okay, so here the point. What's the coordinate for this point? It have zero for the x and one for the y. So it's zero one is always belong to be to the power x. هذه نقطة أساسية في جميع الدوال الأسية. أي دال أسية ضروري أن أحصل على هذه النقطة فيها. طبعا لو ما كانت مضافة لأي عدد ثاني. أوكي؟ أنا هنا كتبت b to the power x. بس لو كانت هنا مثلا plus 1 آه ممكن إني ما أحصل هذه النقطة فيها. أوكي؟ Also another property from the graph that uh, notice here the blue one and the red and the green one. All of these if I move from the left to right are increasing or decreasing? Okay, are they increasing or decreasing? Only this, the blue increasing. and the red. Yes, it's increasing. Okay, so here I have increasing, increasing, increasing function. Okay, increasing. But here, the purple one, when I move from the left to right, I notice that the function is going down, so it will be decreasing, okay? So here, there is actually a value that will decide the, the increasing or the decreasing for the function. I notice here that this base is 5 and this 1.8 1.1 uh, but here i have 0.5 this number is less than 1 and it's of course positive so here for the increasing i have the value of b greater than 1 okay if i have the base is greater than 1 and it's not of course equal it's only greater than 1 لما يكون عندي الاساس اعداد اكبر من الواحد like here 1.1, 1.8, or 5, or even 100, it always be increasing. But if I have the value of B less than 1 and positive, still positive, uh, for example, for example, B equals to 0.5, like this, it will be decreasing, okay? Uh, معناته أن لما يكون عندي الأساس أكبر من الواحد راح تكون دالة تزايدية ولما يكون أقل من الواحد عدد كسري أقل من الواحد وموجب راح تكون عندي الدالة دالة تناقصية أوكي جميع الكسور الموجبة اللي أقل من الواحد راح تكون تعطيني لما أحطها كأساس تعطيني دالة تناقصية أوكي Also the concavity I notice here that this uh, uh, this graphs of function is always concave up, okay, whether it's uh, decreasing or decreasing, increasing. So, when كانت الدالة تزايدية أو تناقصية, ألاحظ أن concavity is always up. So, it's always concave up. Always concave up like this. This is the concavity up. Okay. <coughs> I think this is the most important uh, property from the graph.
we'll discuss uh, another properties more uh, later. Okay, this is the slide. We mentioned all this. This is an example. Okay, it's uh, another kind of simplification, but with solving. Okay, the question here is solve the following equation for x. Solve for x means find the value of x. I have here an equation equal to zero, and the exponent or the variable x, the unknown x is the, in the exponent. Okay, to find this exponent, I will try to find x in one side equals to its value. How to take this x from the exponent? I will try to simplify. Of course, I have here in common in the first term and in the second term the same exponential function. And the here I am the common factor from the first term and the second term. Here it is repeated in the first term, meaning I can take it as a common factor. I can take 5 to the power x as a common factor from 2 minus 3x, then plus 4. Okay, this is 2 minus 3x, and it remains here 4. Okay, equals 0. I can here simplify uh, only the numbers, of course, 2 plus uh, 4. It will be here, I will uh, write the same 5 to the power x. It will be 6 minus 3x equals 0. What did I hear is add the three or add the two to four. And each of them with a positive sign. And I have to say that the two are the same as the two. The two are the same as the two. The two are the same as the two. Okay. So I have here multiplication between this exponential function and this bracket, which is the, a polynomial or uh, a linear, a linear quantity. So either the first one, either the first one, 5 to the power x equals to 0, or the second one, which is the second uh, multiplier here is uh, 6 minus 3x equals 0. Okay? Notice here that I have either this equal to 0 or this equal to 0. But from the graph, or the properties of uh, the exponential function, I know that it's not equal to zero at all. It's always positive numbers. Yes, it's always positive numbers. So I say that five to the power X is not equal to zero at all. I write it like this, but X to the power five is not equal to zero. So the only possibility here is that this bracket is equal to zero. So here's six minus or equal to three X. I will divide by three, both sides. I will have X equals two. This is the result, okay? I will explain this more uh, from, from the graphs, the previous graph, this one. This is actually 5 to the power x. Notice here that, I, that this is the red uh, graph. It's reached to the or uh, approach actually to the uh, zero, but it's actually never equal to zero at all. Hatta hina lo wasalt ila minus infinity, even if, if I reach to the minus infinity, it will be not equal to zero. That means that the exponential function, it doesn't across the x-axis. Okay. The graph of this function, 5 to the power x, it will be like this. It will only approach to 0, but it will, it will never reach it. Okay. حتى لو وصلت إلى هنا المينس إنفينيتي، أوكي؟ عشان كذا أقول إن الخط المحور السيني هو خط تقاربي، أسميه أسيمبتوت لاين، 
أخذ تقاربي لبدالة. Okay, I will mention that uh, later. دكتورة. أيوة. ليش قلنا إن خمسة x ما تساوي الصفر؟ هذا اللي قلنا إنه قيم الدالة الأسية من خصائص الدالة الأسية أنها لا تساوي الصفر أبداً. لاحظي هنا المنحنى كله يقع فوق المحور السيني. فوق المحور السيني معناته أنها ما راح تتقاطع مع السينات. ما في قيمة تخليها تساوي الصفر. هي لا تساوي الصفر أبداً. معناته هذه ليس لها حل. أوكي أتركها. أحل هذه فقط. أوكي؟ أوكي. So here the division of any exponential function القسمة على أي دالة أسية دائما تكون ممكنة لأنها لا تساوي الصفر أبدا يعني هنا ممكن حتى أني أقول الحل هو قسمة أو أقسم على 5x for the both side وأكمل أنه فقط 6 minus 3x equals to 0 okay without saying that إذا كانت عندي المعلومة أنها لا تساوي الصفر أبدا أقسم عليها كأنها عدد ثابت لأنها دائما عدد موجب لا يساوي الصفر. Okay. This is the solution. Okay. This example is actually not mentioned in your slide. رح أعطيكم مثال إضافي مش موجود معكم بالسلايدات بس لأنه هذا ال العملية مهمة. It's very important. Okay. As we said. Uh, one of the property of uh, the exponential function when I have b to the power x equal to the b uh, to the power y, I have here the same base and equality between them. This is actually true if and only if the exponent are equal. Okay, I will use this property in this example. The question is solve the following equation for x, the same question uh, as before. I have here 5 to this exponent, x squared uh, plus 2x, and here I have 125. Okay, I will try to write it at, uh, as the same base. I know that uh, 125 is actually 5 to the power 3. Yes, it's correct. 5 to the power 3. So here, I have the same base. I will write, uh, rewrite it here. 5 to the power x squared plus 2x. Notice that all of this in the exponent. Okay, not only x. I have x squared plus 2x equals to 5 to the power 3. Okay, so here I have the same base. I have here the base 5. And also here, the base 5. So I have here the same bases, the same bases uh, at each, each side. So also the exponent will be equal. So here, here, I will make the equality between the bases, the exponent, x squared plus 2x. This is the same exponent here, equals to 3. Okay, okay. This is uh, uh, an equation of uh, of uh, degree two. I can use the factorization or the quadratic formula. I will arrange it first: x squared plus two x minus three equals zero, and it could be factorized as here x and x, and here one and three. And the minus minus three here and plus one here. Is it right? Or the opposite? Yes, it will be here plus three. As I have here the positive sign uh, with the greater number. Okay. So here minus one. Okay, minus one. So I can here uh, it's will uh, it's uh, either x minus one equal to zero or x plus three equal to zero, x equals to one, 
or x equals to minus 3. So this is the solution. The solution set will be 1 and minus 3. Okay, this is the solution or the values of x. اوكي كلير واضحه الطريقه آه هذا المثال مش موجود معكم بالسلايدات حاولوا تكتبوه عندكم هو موجود اي ثينك بال في الريفرنس بالريفرنس بوك اوكي ناو سينس وي نو اول ذا بروبرتيز اباوت ذا اكسبوننشال فانكشن we will define a special case of the exponential function, which is the natural exponent. We call it the natural exponent or the natural exponential function. When I have the base B equal to a certain number, I call it E, okay? This E is actually calculated approximately to this value, okay? I write it approximately 2.7 this is enough okay approximately 2.7 so i will define uh, we notice that it's positive and it's greater it's uh, it's not equal to one so i can define f of x as the exponential function e to the power x okay i call it the natural exponential function okay and it's it have it has the same properties of the function b to the power x, the same properties. Um, just for uh, your information, how do we get this uh, number? It's actually comes from take the limit for this quantity, 1 plus 1 divided by n all to the power n when n approaches to infinity. Okay, هذه معلومة فقط. من وين جبنا هذا الرقم؟ كيف تم حساب هذا الرقم؟ How to calculate it? It's actually the, uh, the this limit. Okay. Okay. And this is how to write uh, the exponential function with the natural logarithm, natural base. And it's, uh, we said that it, have, uh, it has the same properties. Now we will take the derivative. We will differentiate the exponential function. Of course, any definition of the derivative, we will use the main definition with the limit. But it's not required for you. Uh, you will uh, have only the final result. Okay? Here, when I have to find the derivative for the exponential function b to the power x, it will be the same function b to the power x, but multiplied with a constant. Okay, uh, here the derivative, derivative of b to the power x. It will be the same function b to the power x, but multiplied by what we call it natural logarithm for the base E, B, sorry. Okay. This is the derivative for the exponential function. Okay. This is for all the bases B. But when we have the exponential function with the base E to the power X, when I have to differentiate, it will be the same function without any addition. Okay. Now, مشتقة الدالة الأسية راح تكون هي الدالة الأسية نفسها مضروبة في لن البي لن الأساس لكن لما يكون الأساس فقط الناتشرال بيس which is E راح تكون هي نفسها فقط مشتقة الدالة الأسية هي نفسها okay uh, of course this is the same of this uh, it's the same when we said E to the power X multiplied by لن E لن E لن E is actually equals 1 we will discuss this in detail later when we take the uh, natural logarithm. Uh, the property here, ln e, 
len natural logarithm for the base e is equal to one. So it's only e to the power x. I don't have to add this part. Okay? يعني هنا هي نفسها لكن هنا حالة خاصة إن لين الإي أساسا واحد فما يحتاج أكتب لين الإي واضحة هنا فق uh, just for uh, information from where did we get this لين بي it's actually d uh, by dx which is the derivative for b to the power x at x equals to zero okay just for information but uh, this is only the required formula. المطلوب منكم فقط هذه الصيغة لاشتقاق الدالة الأسية وهذه الصيغة لاشتقاق الدالة الأسية الطبيعية. Okay. Uh, of course here this is the derivative when we have only x here. But if I have another extra things uh, besides x لما يكون عندي أشياء ثانية مع ال x uh, في الأس. For example, if I have f of x equals to x to e to the power, let's say 2x. Okay, so the derivative f dash is equal to the same function e to the power 2x multiplied by the derivative of the exponent. Okay, مشتقة الأس. معناته هنا راح أشتق جميع مكونات الدالة. أشتق الدالة الأسية. اللي هي الدالة الأسية نفسها، بعدين أشتق الأس، مشتقة الأس هو اثنين، معناته هنا أقدر أكتبها I can write it simply as 2 to the power 2 multiplied by e to the power 2x. Okay? Also another example when I have uh, f of x equals let's say e um, to the power x squared plus 1. X square plus one all in the exponent. So f dash of x, the derivative, is equal to the same exponential function e to the power x square plus. Uh, let's add extra things here. X plus x plus two. Okay. So uh, the same exponential function x square plus x plus two, the same uh, function above. Bla uh, no, not plus. Multiplied by the derivative of the exponent. Okay. أشتق الدالة الأسية هي نفسها. بعدين أشتق الأس. Okay. اللي هو ما بداخل الدالة. Which is 2x plus 1. أشتق الأس تربيع زائد الأس زائد 2 هي 2x زائد الواحد. Okay. I can leave it like this or uh, arrange it. Okay, I call this, uh, uh, this is included in chain rule. Okay, this is a using of uh, chain rule. نفس استخدام قاعدة السلسلة. أشتق الدالة الخارجية بعدين ما بداخل الدالة. الدالة الخارجية هي الدالة الأسية. يعني أشتق الدالة الأسية هي نفسها. ولو كانت هذه الدالة ضروري تكون مضروبة هنا في لن الأساس. This is the chain rule. Okay. Uh, we'll take uh, more examples later about the chain rule. But now, okay, now more applications about the natural exponential functions. The question here is find the equation of the tangent line, not only the slope, the, the all equation here, the whole equation is required. So I need a slope which is m equals to y minus the y coordinate divided by x minus the x coordinate okay x1 what's x1 and y1 it's at this point it's given this is x1 and this is y1 i still have to find the slope okay the slope. Where, where do I get uh, the slope from? It's from the derivative. I have to find f dash of x. Okay, so to find uh, all the quantities in this formula, I have to find the slope. I already have y1 and I have x1 from the question. 
and this is only variables. So I only have to find M. How to find M? Find the slope or the, the derivative of this equation. OK. So here I will have uh, I have to find the slope, which is F dash or Y dash Y dash of X. OK, this is the definition of Y. OK, and I will find the derivative at this point. يعني راح أوجد المشتقة وأعوض في المشتقة بهذه النقاط أو بهذا النقطة. Here, I have actually a division, a division or a quotient. So I will use the quotient rule. عندي هنا عملية قسمة أو دالة كسرية ما نترح أستخدم قاعدة القسمة. قاعدة القسمة. I will remind you with the quotient rule. F divided by G. Dash is equal to, well, I will write it here. If divided by G, all dash is equal to F dash G minus G dash F divided by G square. Okay, this is the division or uh, the quotient rule. So here I will uh, find this formula from this. Uh, the derivative of e to the power x, which is f dash, is actually the same function, e to the power x, multiplied by the derivative of, uh, not the derivative, the same uh, function g, which is x plus e to the power x, okay? The first one is f dash, and the second one is g, only g without derivative from here. Then minus minus f multiplied by g dash. Okay, f which is the same function e to the power x multiplied by g dash. Okay, the derivative of this uh, equation is one plus. Okay, مشتقات x هي واحد plus the derivative of e. Is the same function e to the power x. Okay, so here this is f and this is g dash, which is this uh, formula f multiplied by g dash. Okay, uh, it doesn't make any difference when I write g dash f or f g dash, it's the same. Divided by g square, g square, which is the same uh, numerator which is x plus e to the power x all square. Okay, I will try to simplify this. Um, here I have x. Okay, I will multiply this inside the brackets. x e to the power x multiplied together plus e. Notice here e to the power x multiplied by e to the power x. OK, so I have here a multiplying operation. I have the same base, so I will add the exponent X plus X, which each which is equal to 2X. OK. Where did I get uh, 2X from? You know, I go X terbiya, la X Z X. X plus X. OK, I put me 2X. OK, now minus this minus. OK, here minus I will multiply E X by one and E X by E X. So here E to the power X also minus. Notice here this minus I will multiply it by, uh, by both the terms. So here minus E to the power two X for the same uh, reason x plus x here e to the power x multiplied by e to the power x عملية الضرب تساوت فيها الأساسات أجمع الأسس x زائد x 2x okay I finished with uh, simplifying the x the uh, numerator and it will still the same here e to the power x all square equals 2 um, I have here e to the power 2x and e to the power 2x with different signs. So 
it will be deleted together. So here I have x e to the power x minus e to the power x. Okay. And here divided by x plus e to the power x is all square. I can take e to the power x as a common factor, x minus 1 divided by x plus e x, all square. Uh, I think I can stop here. This is uh, the simplest, simplest, simplest form for the derivative. I still have to find the value at uh, this point. OK, 0, 1. So here, f dash of zero. Okay. ليش عوضت بالزيرو؟ أنا عندي هنا قيمة ال x هي عبارة عن الصفر. عشان كده أعوض هنا بالصفر. عشان أوجد قيمة الميل عند النقطة x تساوي الزيرو. Okay. ما رح أحتاج إلى الواحد رح أحتاج فقط إلى الصفر. Uh, e to the power zero multiplied by zero minus one divided by zero plus e to the power zero all square. Notice here with, where uh, did I substitute uh, the x here, and this is instead of x, and here and here, okay? And I will calculate it equals to any, exp any base to the power zero is one, okay? So this is one equals one. And zero minus one, is minus one. Okay, and here I have zero plus e to the power zero. This is one square. It's also one. So the slope is minus one. Okay, which is m, the slope. Okay, this is the slope. So I will uh, get back to this equation. I have the slope. I will write it again, m equals 2, change in y, divided by change in x, uh, I will substitute my quantities. I have m minus 1 equals to y minus, this is y1, which is 1, and this is x1, so x minus 0, which is x, okay? Okay, I will make a scissor multiplication. I will have y minus 1 equals 2 minus x. x is here, x multiplied by minus 1, it will be minus x. So I will try to, to write y alone in one side. It will be y equals to minus x plus 1. This is the required equation of the tangent uh, line to this curve. Okay, هذه هي معادلة الخط المماسي المطلوبة. Okay, this is the required result. واضحة؟ لو كان المطلوب مني فقط find the slope, I can stop here. هذه هي الإجابة المطلوبة. But find the equation, I have to use this equation to find the whole equation for the tangent line. لازم أوجد معادلة الخط المماس. Okay, واضحة؟ Okay. Uh, this is the same slope that we have. Okay, now uh, find the equation of the tangent line. This is the equation of the tangent line. I have to find the slope, which is m. How to find M? By finding the slope. What is the slope? Is the derivative. من وين أوجد الميل؟ دائما أوجد مشتقة الدالة المعطاة عندي وأعوض بالنقطة أو الإحداث السيني الموجود. And I already have y1 and x1 from the question. So I have to differentiate. I, I, لازم أشتق هذه الدالة. وعندي الدالة هذه دالة قسمة فأطبق عليها قاعدة القسمة اللي هي هذه القاعدة. اشتقاق قاعدة القسمة. أضرب مشتقة الأولى في الثانية ناقص الأولى في مشتقة الثانية تطبيق مباشر للقاعدة 
اوكي دائما مشتقة الدالة الأسية هي نفسها اوكي على الدالة الثانية تربيع مقسوم على الدالة الثانية تربيع بعدين أبسط هذا كلها مجرد تبسيط وأوصل إلى الصيغة الأبسط الصيغة النهائية طبعا بما أني راح أعوض مش ضروري أني أبسط الأبسط صيغة ممكنة بس عشان تسهل لي الحسابات اوكي ممكن حتى أعوض هنا ما راح تفرق بعد ما عوضت أو بعد ما أوجدت هنا المشتقة أعوض عن كل إكس موجودة في المشتقة بالصفر ليش صفر؟ لأن معطى عندي هنا أن الإحداث السيني هو صفر في النقطة عند النقطة المطلوبة فعشان كده هنا لازم أعوض عن كل إكس موجودة في المشتقة بالصفر وحصلت على أن الميل يساوي سالب الواحد أخذ الميل اللي طلع عندي وأعوض عنه في معادلة الخط المماس عندي قيمة الخط المما... الميل الخط المماس وعندي قيمة y1 و x1 من السؤال أقدر أعوض بس وأوت قيمة y لحالها الطرف هذا بس المطلوب منكم في السؤال واضحة؟ دكتورة لو سمحتي أيوة أقدر أستخدم أقدر أستخدم أو هي نفس المعادلة اللي هي y ناقص y1 تساوي m في x ناقص x1؟ أيوة هي نفسها. نفسها هي نفسها بس أنت حطيتيها وضربتي طرف الفاصلتين مضبوط؟ أيوة لأن هذه أسهل للحفظ، بالنسبة لي يعني أن هذه ممكن حفظها أسهل، أن الميل يساوي فرق الصادات على فرق السينات. اللي موجودة أساساً عندكم بالسلايد أو بالكورس هي نفسها بس مضروبة طرفين في وسطين أوريدي. بس بالنسبة لي هذه أسهل للحفظ. الله يعطيك العافية شكرا. Okay. Okay. Now this is the this is the exact chain rule that we mentioned before. We said that if we have exponential function, exponential function with the base e, and the exponent is not only x. is a function g of x ال الأس عبارة عن دالة في المتغير x then the derivative will be the same function with the same exponent multiplied by the derivative of the exponent راح تكون المشتقة هي الدالة نفسها مع نفس الأس مضروبة في مشتقة الأس هذه مشتقة الأس okay اوكي آه هذه بس ان هي عملية تعويض انه ممكن اشيل الجي واكتب بدالها يو واشتقها بعدين اشتق الدالة يو اوكي ليتس تيك ذيس اكزامبل فايند ذا ديريفاتيف دي باي دي اكس فور ذيس فانكشن اوكي اي هاف هير اونلي اكسبونينشال فانكشن اند اول اوف ذيس اند ذا اكسبوننت كل هذه الدالة موجودة في الاس Then the derivative will be the same function e with the same exponent, which is uh, x to the power 3 plus 4x plus 5. Then multiplied, not plus, multiplied. The chain rule, we multiply. Okay, the derivative of the exponent. أضربها في مشتقة الأس. كم مشتقة الأس? It will be 3x. Square plus plus four. Okay, we four x here four. We five here zero. So this is the final result. Okay. Also, when I have, for example, uh, find the derivative d by d x for e to the power square root of x. Okay, this is the same. I can here take the derivative. Of the exponential function, which is exact say, the same, exactly the same function e to the power uh, square root of x, then multiplied by the, the derivative of the exponent. مضروبة في مشتقة الأس. طبعاً نعرف أن مشتقة الجذر uh, مشتقة الجذر هي واحد على اثنين الجذر. Okay. So uh, I will simply write. Multiplied by one uh, over two square root of x, and I can rewrite it simply write uh, as e to the power x divided by two 
square root of x واضحة؟ هي نفس الفكرة مشتقة الدالة الأسية هي الدالة الأسية نفسها مضروبة في مشتقة الأس هذا عبارة عن مشتقة الأس الأس داش أوكي Okay, now we will uh, apply some examples. Okay, this is the function g. I have to find its derivative. The question is to differentiate. So I have to find g dash of x, or I can write dg uh, by dx of, of x, of course. Okay, or d by dx for g equals to. Notice here that I have the exponential function, but inside a power of a 3. Okay, so here the outer function, I will not begin with the derivative of the exponential function. No, the outer function is the power 3. So I will first differentiate the power. Okay, this is the first the first thing to differentiate. أبدأ من الدالة الخارجية بعدين أشتق الجوة الدالة. So here I will just differentiate the power, which is three multiplied by the same quantity all to the power two. Okay, and I will write the exact same thing inside e to the power minus two x minus two x. Notice here that this is not in the exponent, okay? Only minus 2x uh, exponent uh, 2e, okay? Then multiplied by the derivative of what inside, okay? هنا اشتقيت القوة اللي هي الثلاثة بعدين أضرب في مشتقة ما بداخل القوس رح أبدأ باشتقاق الحد الأول I will differentiate the first term first which is e to the power minus 2x. اشتقت الدالة الأسية هي الدالة الأسية نفسها. Then multiplied with the exponent differentiation, which is minus 2. Okay? هذه مشتقة الدالة الأسية وهذه مشتقة الأس. Then minus, راح اشتق الجزء الثاني من الدالة اللي داخل اللي هي minus 2x. Minus 2. اشتقة 2x هي 2. مع نفس الإشارة. Okay. I can stop here and I can also simplify. Of course, this is uh, cannot be simplified. I will write it as it is. Minus 2x minus 2x here. Okay. Then multiplied by. Notice that this minus 2 is multiplied by this. So minus 2e to the power minus 2x minus 2 it's just arrangement here or not there is no division okay uh, i can stop or i can take minus 2 as a common factor so i can take 3 multiplied by minus 2 from here as a common factor multiplied by e to the power minus 2x minus 2x multiplied by e minus 2x minus plus one okay uh, maybe here minus six multiplied e uh, minus 2x minus 2x multiplied by e minus 2x plus one this is all simplification i can actually stop here for finding the uh, derivative but maybe in the multiple choice you will have uh, uh, the simplest uh, form okay how we got minus 2 to the power minus 2x. You mean here. Right? This is your question? From here. Okay, from here. I here uh, differentiate. Here, uh, I differentiate the power. 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 I differentiate the هذه مشتقة ما بداخل القوس اللي هي e to the power minus 2x مضروبة في سالب 2 أوكي؟ هذه كلها مشتقة ال e to the power x 
اوكي اي تو ذا باور اكس مشتقتها هي هذه كلها بعدين مشتقة الحد الثاني اللي هو ماينس 2 اوكي فاضرب هذه الكمية قبل ما اطرح ماينس 2 مجرد هنا بس ضربت الماينس 2 في الدالة الأسية بس اني كتبتها من جهة اليسار ماينس 2 مالتبلايد باي اي اوكي واضحة؟ طرحنا من واحد ايش؟ لا هنا الدالة الأسية ما أطرح شيء من الواحد، مشتقة الدالة الأسية هي نفسها، ما أطرح أي شيء من الأس. أنزلها مثل ما هي من غير ما أغير ولا شيء من الأس. بعدين أضربها في مشتقة الأس. أوكي؟ مشتقة الدالة الأسية تختلف عن قاعدة القوة. ما أطبق عليها قاعدة القوة، ما أطرح شيء من الأس. أنزله مثل ما هو بالضبط. هذه تختلف عن الدالة كثيرة الحدود أو الدالة المرفوعة إلى قوة. أوكي؟ اللي أطرح منها الأس، معلش اللي أطرح منها الأس هي هذه هذه خارج الدالة. مهما كان دالة إي إيش؟ مهما كان الأس تبعها بتكون المشتق نفس نفس الدالة. ايوه مهما كان الاس مشتقه الداله هي نفسها المشتق نفسه ايوه هي نفسها بعدين انظر الى الاس اذا يحتاج الى اشتقاق اشتق الاس بعدين الحاله واضربه في الداله لاحظ هنا انا ضربت في مشتقه الاس بس الداله الاسيه تنزل مثل ما هي من غير اي تغيير ما اغير ولا شيء لا في الداله ولا في الاس كل اللي راح يتغير اذا كان الاس مختلف عن الاكس اني اضرب اضرب بعدين الخطوه اللي بعدها اضرب في مشتقه الاس فقط Okay, pay attention to this uh, to this step. تختلف عن مشتقة كثيرة الحدود أو دالة القوة. It's not a power rule. This is different. Okay. Okay, I think it's clear now. Okay, هذا الحل عندكم في ال. هنا وقف إلى هذا الحل. Uh, عملنا خطوة زيادة بس إن أخذنا ماينس تو عامل مشترك صارت عندنا هنا ماينس سكس. But it's not important. Okay now for extra properties for the uh, exponential function ممكن أستنتج خصائص إضافية للدالة الأسية. I have here the exponential function that we already study. It was e to the power x. Okay. But if I have a constant, a constant k multiplied by x, okay, I can multiply the exponent x with a constant k. Okay, this k could be positive or negative or any value. Okay, I can have some properties since this uh, function in this form has so much application, it have uh, a certain properties. Of course, it will have the same properties as before. It always have uh, the domain equals r. دائما domain يكون جميع الأعداد الحقيقية. And also the range, the range, اللي هي القيم الصادية لها, always be positive r, positive r, and it's not equal to zero. Okay? With non-zero value, هي لا تتقاطع مع المحور السينات أبدا. And always this point is uh, included in the graph. Notice here that this point is always on the graph. So the point zero one always in uh, sorry always the, in the function f of x equals to e os k x. Okay, I always have this point. And also, um, as we said, it doesn't intersect with the x-axis. So the x-axis, let's numerate here, two, three, and four. The x-axis is actually, uh, works as a symptot line. A symptot means the x-axis, or the x-axis, is an asymptot Asymptote, asymptote line. Okay, for uh, the function e to the power e x. 
اور اي كي اكس قسمته مثل ما قلت لكم معناته خط تقاربي اوكي ومثل ما قلنا انه ال e to the power k x is not equal to zero at all. Okay. Um, and for the values of k, which is positive. Okay. When k is positive. Notice here, أتكلم عن ال k. ما أتكلم عن ال base. أتكلم عن ال k. لما تكون عندي هنا ال k positive, لي, زي مثل هنا ال uh, half is positive. هنا one, two. And here I have, no, here, here is negative. All the positive uh, values for k, I have an increasing function. Okay, it will be increasing for positive values. Okay, and for negative values for k, like this one, negative values for k, it will be decreasing. Notice here that this one with the lighter blue, it doesn't intersect with the minor with, with zero one since it multiplied with the coefficient. So this is not uh, our case. Uh, we said that uh, in this one and this one, I have a negative value for k, so it will be decreasing. Okay, it will be decreasing for the negative values for k, and this is the fifth. The sixth uh, property that it's always concave up, whether it's increasing or decreasing. So, and can't the idea of the diamond concavity is going up, concave up, like this. Notice this is concave up, and also these are concave up. Okay. Um, this is the main properties actually for the this value, this uh, fu function. We mentioned all of these. Uh, this is for the decreasing function. It has exactly the same uh, properties. Okay, now we finished the exponential function and all the main properties. Now we will define its inverse, okay? If I have the function f of x <coughs> equals to e to the power x, I can simply find its inverse, f inverse of x. Okay, or I can say y. Notice here how to find its inverse. Uh, maybe from the graph, I can notice that this is the graph of the function e to the power x. Okay, if I draw a line, this line uh, with this equation y equals x. لما أرسم هذا الخط y تساوي x عبارة عن خط ينصف الربع الأول مع الربع الثالث. هذا أسمي الربع الثالث وهذا الرابع. Um, and I fold the plane across this uh, symmetry line. أعتبر هذا مثل خط التناظر وأطوي المستوى على هذا الخط. Okay. I will find that the function e to the power x will be exactly uh, a reflection. Its reflection will be this function. Okay, it will be its inverse. لما أطوي المستوى على هذا الخط كخط تناظر يعني تصور إن عندك ال المستوى عبارة عن ورقة. أطوي الورقة على هذا الخط راح تنطبق هذه الدالة على دالة ثانية. يعني مكان اللي تنعكس عليه الدالة راح تكون هي الدالة اللوغاريتمية. الدالة اللوغاريتمية أو تحديدا هنا بما أن الأساس E راح تكون الدالة اللوغاريتمية الطبيعية. The natural logarithm. This is the inverse أيوه مثل الانعكاس كأنها مرآة. This is the inverse of the function E up to the power x. Okay? It's the reflection. I call it the natural logarithm. For the natural base e, okay. معناته هنا لما أقول لين ال x أقرأها لين لين ال x لين ال x هي specifically the inverse for e to the power x, okay. هي فقط لهذه الدالة معكوس. الدالة b to the power x actually it have another logarithm, okay. Logarithm for the same base b, okay. This is the inverse for the base 
the base uh, b to the power x. Its inverse is logarithm for the same base b. Okay. Uh, we will discuss it later, but now we will construct on only the natural logarithm for now. Okay. Before we move, we notice that uh, it have similar properties, some similar properties for with the, this, the original function e to the power x. From the increasing and decreasing, we notice that it's when I move from uh, left to right, it's going up. So, len x is increasing or decreasing, it will be increasing, okay? It's going up when I move from left to right. لما أتحرك من اليسار إلى اليمين راح ألاحظ أن الدالة قيمها تزداد. Okay, also I have the point 1 and 0 included in the graph. Okay, uh, instead of 0, 1. I notice that the reflection of this point is uh, zero one is the point one zero. معناته أن تغيرت السينات إلى صادات والصادات إلى سينات. So the point one zero is always on the line on the graph of len of x. Okay. Okay. Also, I have another properties. Let's write it here. Uh, we already said that uh, len x, we already said that len x is increasing and it have the point one zero always on the graph, always on the graph of uh, len x. I can write it between brackets or the immediately len x. Also the concavity, okay? Then uh, since I take uh, only the reflection, the concavity will be changed. Here, the uh, uh, exponential function is concave up, but this, I notice that it's concave down, okay? So it's concave down, concave down. This is the concavity for the logarithmic, natural logarithmic function. Okay, another useful properties, I have the logarithm of the number one, okay? The number one from the x-axis. This is the logarithm of, or, or this is the, x, the one in the x-axis. Its uh, natural logarithm is always zero. So len one is always zero. So in calculations or simplification, when I have len one, it's immediately equals to zero. دائما في الحسابات إذا واجهتني لن الواحد على طول أعوض عنها بالزيرو أستبدلها بالزيرو لن الواحد دائما تساوي الزيرو okay and also I have the exponential function when it's to the power or the exponent len x okay this is simplified to x okay so it's uh, look like that I omit len with e, and it will remain only what inside the logarithm, which is x. Okay. I can take another example. For example, e to the power len x plus one. Okay. I omit len with e, and it's equal to what inside the len, which is x plus one. Okay. Also, the opposite of this property, <clears throat> which is len for e, okay? Let's say here e to the power x. Also, this len omit this e, and all what remains is the exponent x, okay? Also, here, for example, I can take example. Uh, I could have len e to the power x square. Okay, the len will omit the e and it will be x square. كيف ممكن أستخدمها هذه properties? How can we use these properties? Uh, in some equations, I could have uh, len x. How to uh, get rid of uh, len? كيف أتخلص من len لما تكون عندي معادلة فيها len? أرفعها إلى قوة للإي. E. 
انا اقدر احط الاي هذا من عندي ارفع الطرفين الى قوه للاي فعشان كذا راح تلغى اللن مع الاي او العكس ممكن تكون عندي اكس في الاس وابغى اتخلص من الاي اوكي اي ونت تو جيت ريد اوف ذس اي اي ونت تو اوميت ات اي اي ونت اونلي ذا اكسبوننت كيف اتخلص من الاي اخذ لن للطرفين اوكي فعشان كذا اللن راح تلغي الاي ويبقى لي فقط الاس هذه طريقة لحل المعادلات يا اني اخذ الاي ارفع للطرفين كاس للاي للطرفين او اخذ لن الطرفين واضحة؟ اي uh, ثينك دكتورة يعني اللن تساوي الاي؟ uh, مش تساويها هي تلغيها بما انها هي عبارة عن الدالة العكسية او معكوس الدالة فلما اخذ الاف انفرس للاف يعطيني واحد اوكي الدالة العكسية تلغي الدالة او العكس اف مع الاف انفرس يعطيني واحد اوكي لما اطبق الدالة مع الدالة مع معكوسها كل واحدة تلغي الثانية ويبقى لي فقط ما بداخل الدالة اوكي آه، رح تكون اوضح لما نطبق عليها امثلة بس حاليا خلينا نكمل بقية الخصائص اوكي Of course, this is uh, for all x and r. It remains to to uh, find the domain for len. The domain for the logarithmic natural logarithm function is only the positive real numbers. Notice here in, uh, that the graph, the graph of the logarithm is only at the right of the plane. مرسوم فقط في الجهة اليمنى. معناته اني ما اخذت اي قيمه سينيه من الجهه اليسرى راح تكون غير معرفه اوكي لما اسالك الدومين للداله اللوغاريتميه اللي هي تحديدا لن اتس اول اونلي ذا بوزيتيف نمبرز سو لوغاريتم ناتشورال لوغاريتم فور اني نيجاتيف نمبر فور اكزامبل ماينس 1 از نوت ديفايند داز نوت اكزيست اور نوت ديفايند اوكي غير معرفه معرفه فقط على القيم الموجبه not defined and also len zero is not defined does not exist so to find the domain i have find only the positive values of what inside the len معرفه فقط لما تكون x اكبر من الصفر هي len ال x Then x is defined only for the positive value of x is not equal to zero or any other negative values. هذه مهمة. ممكن يجيكم سؤال إنه find the domain for a function and a function contain len. How to find the domain? The domain is all the positive values for what inside the len. If it's len x, the domain is x greater than zero. Okay, it will be zero. To infinity, open. Okay, and let's say, for example, I'll write to you another example. For example, find the domain, the domain for len x plus one. Okay, so I have to find with when x plus one is greater than one. So X is greater than minus one. So the uh, interval of uh, the domain or the definition will be from minus one to infinity for this function. Okay, معناته أمسك اللي داخل اللين وأوجد حل هذا ال المتباينة متى يكون أكبر من الصفر. Okay, we mentioned all this. Uh, we still didn't say that. Uh, we if we have uh, the exponential function e to the power kx is actually uh, a normal exponential function b to the power x but with the coefficient len b. Okay, معناته إني أقدر أساوي الدالة الأسية الطبيعية بالدالة الأسية العادية بشرط أن هذه k هي عبارة عن len b. معناته إنه b to the power x is equal to the e to the power Len b, okay, len b, which is k, 
multiplied by x. Okay, this is exactly the same. We uh, طبعا قلنا إنه e to the ln فرح تكون e to the power b. في uh, x راح يكون هو نفسه الأساس b to the power x. Okay, هذه معلومة إضافية بس. Okay, we said all of this. Okay. Okay, ln x is positive for x greater than 1. This is from the graph. Not here from the graph. All the values here is under the x-axis. So all of these are negative. But after 1, it's up of the x-axis, so it's positive. معناتها هنا قيم الدالة اللوغارتمية تكون سالبة للقيم من 0 إلى 1 وقيمها أتكلم عن القيم الاقتصادية، القيم الاقتصادية هنا سالبة، القيم بين الصفر والواحد، وموجبة القيم اللي أكبر من الواحد. And it's increasing and concave down. Okay, that's all mentioned. Okay, now to apply the properties that we already discussed. The question is to simplify. Simplify this function e. Is the exponent the base and all of this in the exponent? Okay, e to this exponent. I want to simplify. I notice that I have a subtraction in the exponent. عندي عملية طرح في الأس. So I can write it actually as e to the power ln three. I can here apply. When I said b to the power x divided by b to the power y, it will be b to the power x minus y. Okay? And عندي هنا بدل ال b e. And x minus y. Let's say that this is x and this is y. So I will divide. I will divide e to the power ln x by e to the power. The second power here is uh, 2. Len y. Okay. عندي عملية طرح في الأس معناتها الأس الأول في البسط والأس الثاني للإي في المقام. واضحة؟ So here I can actually also simplify since I have e to the power len. We we said that this is deleted together. Okay. الإي تلغي len. أقدر أحذف الإي مع len. And also here uh, here before uh, omitting, there's something else to do. So here I can only write three, okay? And here before uh, before omitting, I have two. Uh, from the properties of the natural logarithm, we didn't mention that yet, but uh, we will uh, take it later. That when we have two, for example, len nil y, okay, this is two, len, Y, okay, it's equal to two to len y square. من خصائص الدالة اللوغارتمية أن لما أطبقها على دالة مرفوعة إلى قوة الأس يجي قدام الدالة اللوغارتمية, which is exactly the same things here. So I can write this as e to the power of of len y square, okay? أنا رجعتها هنا من to ln y إلى ln y سكوير. So here I can omit the ln with the e. ما أقدر إني أحذفها مباشرة وأخلي two هنا. لا لازم أرجع two مكانها على ال y. Okay. هي كيف أصلاً جت two هنا من تطبيق ln على ال y تربيع. ln y تربيع هي two ln y. هذا من خصائص الدالة اللوغارتمية اللي راح نأخذها بعدين. بس نحتاجناها الحين في هذا المثال. Okay, so here I have 2 divided by y squared. Sorry here, it's not y, it's x. Okay. Okay, here. It's x, len x. And here, len x. Square and this is x square. Three divided by x square. Okay. 
Okay, this is the simplest answer. And it's the same in the slide. Okay, now another example is uh, solve. Solve the equation. I have here exponential equation. It's similar uh, uh, to what you have in the TMA, I think. Exponential equation. I have here exponents e to the power x all to the power 2 multiplied by the same exponent uh, or the same base e for this exponent. So first I will simplify that. Okay, I will use that b to the power x all to the power y. It's equal to the b to the power x y. Okay, لما تكون مضروبة بهذا الشكل أكتبها على نفس الأساس مضروبين في بعض. Okay, so I will write it. E x. طبعا هذا مش x تربيع. X مضروبة في اثنين. راح تكون e to the power two x. Okay. ما راح تكون هذه x تربيع. لا. راح أضرب فقط ال x باثنين. واضحة؟ بعدين مضروبة في نفس ال the same quantity which is two minus three x equals four. Okay. Now I have a multiplication with the same base. So I will take e to the power two x plus here plus. Okay. Since I have here a multiplication. And it is out the assassin for Amelia to darb ajma al plus two minus three x equals four. Okay. So here I have e to the power. Al kill al get under shasha wala bis zamilkum. Yeah, okay. Uh, I have here two x. Project shash or lala. Okay, I will complete. Okay, two x minus three x. أجمع ال الفدود اللي فيها x مع بعض راح تكون two x minus three x. It will be Minus x, which is two minus three, plus two equals four. Okay. As we said, I have to find the equation and I have to solve it for x. But the x is in the exponent, and أبغى ال x لحالها أبغى أوجد هنا قيمة ال x تساوي كم عشان حل المعادلة. لكن ال x موجودة في الأس. كيف أقدر أنزلها من الأس؟ مثل الخصائص اللي قلناها راح اخذ لن للطرفين I will take the natural logarithm for the both side okay for the both side like this راح اخذ لن الطرف الاول اللي هو لن ال e minus x plus 2 equals to لن 4 لن عدد okay هذا عبارة عن عدد ثابت عدد ولن العدد كلها اعداد ثابتة so here I can omit len with e, and all of this will be down. Okay, ألغي len مع ال e وينزل الأس على السطر. راح تكون minus x plus two equals to len four. I still have len here. Okay, I cannot change that. So I can now find x uh, uh, the sol the solve for x equal to len four minus two. So I will divide by minus one, minus one, x equals to two. لما أقسم هذا على سالب الواحد راح يعطيني موجب اثنين minus len four. Okay. أو ببساطة ممكن أضرب هذه كلها بإشارة سالبة وتعطيني هذه. Okay. This is the value of uh, the variable x. Okay, this is the solution of this equation. Of course, this is a number. I can calculate it by uh, a calculator. ممكن أحسبها بالآلة الحاسبة يطلع عندي رقم. Okay, and it's not simplified. Uh, this is the same uh, quantity that we have. Okay, نفس الإجابة اللي حصلنا عليها. ممكن تحسبوها بالآلة الحاسبة تكتبوا اثنين 
ناقص لن الأربعة وتشوفوا كم تساوي كتقريب للعدد. Okay, by the same way, I think uh, maybe this is the last example in this uh, lecture. Solve for x. Okay, I would want to find x or the value of x. Okay, but I have len. The x is inside the logarithmic, uh, the logarithmic function. Okay, so I have here to simplify first. Uh, before making anything here, I have here five. Okay, I have two things to do or two options. I can reverse this as an exponent here or I can divide by five, the both sides. Okay. So here I can say that len 2x is equal to 5 divide or, or 8 divided by 5. It will be the same if I take uh, len 2x all to the power 5 or I divide the both uh, sides by 5. Okay, now to get rid of uh, this len, okay, I want to omit this len to find only x. Okay, I can't divide by uh, a letter here. So I, uh, the things that I should have to do is take the exponential function for the both sides. I will take e to the power len 2x equals to e to the power 8 divided by 5. Notice what I did here. I take the exponential function for the both sides. اعتبرت انها اساسات متساوية او اعتبرت انها اسس متساوية ساوية الاساسات. اوكي okay, ارفعها لنفس الاساس اي. اوكي okay, so I can now omit the len with the e. So I will have only 2x equals to e to the power 8 divided by 5. So only dividing by 2 I will get the value of x which is e to the power 8 divided by 5 uh, all divided by 2. Okay, I can stop here. You can calculate this by calculator. It's a number. It's not an exponential function. And then divide it by 2. Okay. Uh, there is another way to, to solve it. Method 2. I can here write it len 2 x all square equals to 8. Okay, so e to the power len 2x square equals to e to the power 8. So e here omitted with the, the len, I will have 2x all square is equal to e to the power 8. So I will have 4x squared equals to e to the power 8 divided by 4 divided by 4. It will be x squared equals to ex, okay, oh, not ex, e8, then the square root, okay. It will be x equals to e to the power 8 uh, divided by 2 divided by Okay. Um, sorry, here five, right? Oh. Okay, this is five. This is five. So it's not a square root. It will be the same answer. Okay. I have here x to the power 5 equals to e to the power x divided by 4. I will take the fifth root of x and it will be e plus x. Let's sum the 4 
uh, 1 over 5. Again, this is 8 and this is 8. Uh, it will be e to the power 8 by 5 divided by 4 to the power الجدل الخامس للأربعة. كيف صارت مرفوعة للخمسة من هنا؟ أنا ممكن أطبق هذه الطريقة إني آخذ العدد المضروب في اللن وأرفع كأس للي داخل اللن. هي أساسا هذا اللي عملت اللن بال 2x. أوكي؟ ممكن أرفع مرة ثانية. بس لحظة هنا أتأكد بس من ال آه هنا المفروض مش أربعة. So again here it's not to the power 4, uh, it's not 4. Uh, 2 to the power 5. Okay. Uh, 2 to the power 5. Okay, 2 to the power 5 and 2 to the power 5. I'll على 2 أس الخمسة للطرفين بس أوكي ما تحصلنا على نفس الإجابة هنا آه راح أقسم هذه راح تلغى مع بعض وهذه راح تكون 2 أس الخامسة. إذا أخذت الجذر الخامس عشان أتخلص من الأس خمسة راح تكون هذه أس خمسة وهذه 2 أس الخامسة لكل أس واحد على خمسة، معناته راح الأس هذا راح يلغي هذا الأس. راح أحصل هنا على 2. أوكي؟ okay. It's the same answer here. The exact same answer. واضحة؟ هنا ما كان ضروري اني اطلع 2 اس 5 كم لان راح اخذ الجذر الخامس مره ثانيه وراح ترجع عندي مره ثانيه 2 اوكي اوكي ذس از ذا سوليوشن طبعا هنا الفرق بس انه قسم 8 على الخمسه طلعت 1.6 اي ديفايد 8 باي 5 اتس ايكوال تو 1.6 اوكي اند ذن ديفايد اولسو باي 2 ذس از ذا ابروكسيميت انسر هنا بس الفرق ان نطلع العدد تقريبا بالاله الحاسبه دكتور يعني هو عوض بالاي ب 2.2.7 آه لا ما عوض فيها ايوه ممكن بالاله الحاسبه عوض فيها بس مش كتبها 2.7 انتم موجود عندكم بالاله الحاسبه قيمه جاهزه للاي بس اكتب اي اضغطها وادخل الاس المطلوب بدل الاكس هذه موجوده جاهزه بالاله الحاسبه Okay. Uh, so the last thing that we will mention in this uh, tutorial is the common logarithm. We said that ln x is only the natural logarithm and it's the inverse for the base e. Okay, the inverse function if the base was e. Uh, there is another logarithm called the common logarithm. الأكثر شيوعاً أو الأكثر استخداماً في الألجبرة. which is the base 10. Okay, and I'm going to assess which is the base B could be any value, but the most usable one is the base E. I call it the natural logarithm. And also I have the common logarithm, الأساس الشائع أو الأساس الأكثر استخداما في linear algebra, which is the base 10. Logarithm الأساس عشرة. Okay, of course here the logarithm to the base 10 for 100 is the number of the zeros. It's like saying that 10, logarithm of 10 square is equal to 2. And also here is like saying the logarithm to 10 to the power 3. Okay, so the power here or the exponent is a 3. This is how to use the common uh, logarithm. And also here this uh, 10,000 is 10 to the power 4. So when I take the common logarithm for this base, okay, the natural or the common logarithm deleted with 10, and it remains the exponent. Okay, so when I have logarithm to the base 10, for any multiplication of 10, let's say here that I have 
10 to the power 5. Logarithm 10 is omitted uh, the base 10. مثل ما كانت اللن تلغي الإي. أوكي، اللن تلغي الإي. لوغاريتم الأساس 10 تلغي الأساس 10. يبقى عندي فقط الأس اللي هو الخمسة. بالنسبة لي هنا الأس اللي كتبته خمسة ممكن يكون X. يعني لو كتبت مثلا لوغاريتم uh, 10 to the base 10 of course. لوغاريتم 10 for the base 10 to the power X is equal to X. لوغاريتم تلغي العشرة. Okay. Uh, we don't have time for this example. This is the final. Uh, I think we will stop here. Okay, Fi Do you have any questions? 